happy Friday everyone. Corinne from Mama's Little Lambs. This morning I'm going to be sharing with you some great books and I'll be back to let you know what they're all about. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. I am so excited to be sharing with you my June Mom's Morning Basket. I think it is so important for us to find great books we enjoy reading, things that lift us up, things that encourage us so that we can be a shining light for our children and just for everyone around us. So I'm going to start with a book that I've read before, but I want to read it again because I really felt like I need to remind myself of how great God is and just all the blessings he has for us if we only ask. So the first book I'm going to share with you is called The Prayer of Jabez. And this is by Bruce uh, Wilkinson. And I read this book I want to say probably 12 years ago, but it is so amazing. And it had, for being such a small book, it's just packed full of such great information and just things I never really thought about and how God works in our life. So if you've not read this before, it is absolutely amazing. Make sure that you do because he the way he describes what God has for us and the things that we don't receive because we do not ask, you will be overwhelmed. It is a beautiful book. It's not a long book, but it's a great uplifting book. And, you know, the pandemic is still here. We still are safer at home, but we're getting through and the Lord has taken us through. So I think this will really lift us up and encourage us to stay closer to him and just to keep relying on him and knowing that um, he's going to get us through this, that this too shall pass. So this is a great book. The next book that I have is called The Five People You Meet in Heaven. And this is by Mitch Elbaum, and it is an amazing book. I haven't read all of it, but I've been reading it and kind of pushing it a little before June. But this book is, it's its interesting the way this book starts. I just want to read a little um, something to you. This book is about a man named Eddie. And he talks about, this is a story about a man named Eddie. And it begins at the end with Eddie dying in the sun. It might seem strange to start a story with an ending, but all endings are also beginnings. We just don't know it at that time. So this is is an awesome book. And I know as we go through life and we meet people and we see people and we wonder why God allowed us to meet this person or that person, I think we're going to find out when we get to heaven and when we run into those people. And I, I, I just have a feeling that this book is going to be about people that you knew here in on earth and that you rediscovered and you found out the meaning behind knowing them or meeting them because we don't always know exactly you know why or you know how they got put in and we'll just say you're a god sent or when somebody talks to us it's like god sent you here just at the right time to encourage me or lift me up so i think this is going to be a lot about that so i'm looking forward to reading this one the next book I have is called The Garden Psalms, and it's God's gift of comfort and and abundance. And we just always want to remember that all of God's promises, we want to claim them. We want to trust his word. We want to know that God is never late. He's always on time. Nothing takes him by surprise. And it's just a beautiful book. I mean, look at the flowers inside the cover. It's just absolutely wonderful absolutely beautiful so i really like the psalms and they're just beautiful and it's the, the pictures in here the photographs are absolutely gorgeous they're uplifting in just themselves but i love to go through this and i thought it's a good time to reflect back on all of god's promises um to know that to remind ourselves that he's in control 
that he has us and that we are going to be okay as long as we stay close to him. So like I said, the pictures are absolutely beautiful. I got this um, from a secret secret sister gifts so um for, through church so i'm excited and and like i said to read this and remind myself again again of god's beautiful psalms that will be one that i will be reading the next one is by sarah mckenzie and this is about the read aloud family and i don't know about your family but we love books here and we love to read aloud during homeschool and i think it's so important as a family to read aloud and to get your children involved because if we don't show them that we have an interest and draw them in, they may not be readers. They may not be interested in books. So I love picture books. The literature is beautiful and all the beautiful pictures they have in there. And this just talks about precious moments and what she got out of it and how it changed. It says making meaningful and lasting connections with your kids. And it said that this changed her it changed the world, maybe not for the whole, everybody in the world, but it changed her world just going through and reading this book and finding out how important it is to read books to your children and to read as a family. So I'm excited to get involved with this and read this. So another great book. The next one is called Crossroads and it's by W.M. Paul Young and he is the author of The Shack. And so I'm excited to read this. I'm not really sure what it's all about. Um, I read a little bit about it, and it just talks about um, journeys that we travel and places and connections and where we end up and why we end up there. And so I'm excited to read this book. The Shack was really good, and I did see the movie The Shack, so I'm excited to read The Crossroads. If you've read it at all, um, please leave a comment down below if you enjoyed it or any of the other books I'm sharing. So Crossroads, I'm excited. I'm excited to see this. It says Jesus, Jesus reached over and took Tony's hand on his journey. You can choose to physically heal one person, but only one. And when you make that selection, your journey will end. I healed, oh, I can heal someone. Are you telling me that I am able to heal anybody? His thoughts without prompting immediately returned to his own body in the ICU room. So I'm excited what crossroads he faced, what avenues he went down where he was talks about icu so i know it has to do with something that happened to him that placed him in a situation where maybe he needed to lean more on god and maybe where others led him closer to the lord so i'm excited to read that this is my new journal and i got this and i'm going to be doing a um haul that I got at Mardell's. I love Mardell's. It's a Christian bookstore. I don't know if you have them in your state, but you can buy anything off the line that you see. So I just like it. Um, it has this. It's got beautiful flowers that go around. It has scriptures on the bottom. So I haven't started it yet. This is going to be my May one. I do like to go in because we're having church at home and we watch uh, Pastor Robert Morris. And I I always put in the title, whatever it is, I'm a writer. I love to go back and I love taking notes. So this is going to be perfect for me. So I'm excited about all the books that I have for the month of June. Every one of them are going to be a blessing, I know. And I just um, am grateful for books and for literature. And so we want to make sure our children are too. We want to share great things with them. And I'll share um, in the morning time when we do Bible, some of the Psalms with my children, because I think that's important. And then at nighttime during family worship. So I hope you like this video. I love doing mom's morning baskets because like I said, we need to be uplifted and they're for grandmas and moms and aunties and sisters and nieces and anybody that you think, what could I get them for a gift? Give them a basket and fill it with beautiful books. This is my basket. It's really cute. It's got lemons. It's pink and it's got a lemon on it and it just keeps all my houses, all my books. So I leave them in here and I just pull them out and I read different chapters and I don't necessarily read them one book first before I start another. Sometimes I'm reading a couple at a time. So 
Um, if you've enjoyed this, like I said, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell, so you'll know when I'm making my next video, and that way you won't miss it. And I hope you have an amazing Friday and a beautiful weekend. We're going to have some awesome weather. Weather, I'm sorry. Awesome weather here in Colorado. It's high 80s and 90s, so, and lots of sunshine. Um, in the mornings, me and my daughter, we love to spend time together, and we love to go for walks. So we usually, um, we're trying to work up to three miles, so we're walking every morning and spending time together and just focusing on God's beauty and just seeing some wonderful things. So make your day beautiful, and, and, and may you be richly blessed. And I'm going to leave you with a scripture. It says, I have set the Lord always before me, because... He is at my right hand. I shall not be shaken. And that is found in Psalms 16, 8. So may you always remember that God is always with you, that God holds your hand, that he never leaves you alone, but he is forever in your presence and he is always there for you. So you have an amazing weekend and thank you for stopping by again. God bless. Bye-bye.